Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub by Dr. Tanya Bose. So today I'll talk about the tree traversal, right? So let's understand what is a tree traversal. Now, very often ordered trees, they are used to restore the data or the information, right? So what happens is that in a tree traversal, it is a procedure of systematically visiting each vertex of an ordered rooted tree to access the data. So if the tree is labeled by the universal address system, we can totally order the vertices using the lexicographic ordering. So what is this lexicographic ordering? Here, if the universal address system is used, then how are the vertices marked lexicographically? So let's see. For example, this is your tree. So here you can see that the root vertex has been marked with a number zero. Then from the root vertex, there are four chil five children. So they are marked in a lexicographic manner starting from left to right. We mark it as one, two, three, four and five. Right. Then if you look at the first node, the first node has further three children. So how are they marked? They are marked as 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. So you can see that the lexicographic system is marked from left to right. Then 2 has no children. 3 has further 2 children. So they are marked as 3.1 and 3.2. 3.1 has further children. So it is marked as 3.1.1, 3.1.2 and then 3.1.3. .1 .3. Then finally, 3.1.2 has further four children. So how are they marked? They are marked as 3.1.2.1, 0.2, 0.3 and 0.4. So you can see that by looking at these numbers, it is very easy to diagnose that who is the root, who is the parent of who and who is its child, right? Similarly, 4 has one child, so it is marked as 4.1. 5 has 3 children, so they are marked as 5.1, 5.2 and 5.3. 5.1 is further marked as 5.1.1. So when we mark the system like this, when we mark all the vertices of a tree in this manner, then this system is called the universal address system. And this is a lexicographic system, right? So here, what will happen? 0 will become the root vertex, then 0 is less than 1, is less than 1.1, then less than 1.2, 1.3, then further 2, then 3, then 3.1, 3.1.1, and so on till the last number is 5.3. Right? So this is your lexicographic ordering. But apart from this lexicographic ordering, we have three more tree traversals, which are known as pre-order traversal in order traversal and post order traversal right so in this video today i will be only focusing on the pre order traversal so we will learn it with due course of time one by one so in this video i'll just tell you what is a pre order traversal right it's very simple but provided you listen to me very carefully right so what happens in a pre order traversal step one is that you visit the root vertex first of all right then in step two, we visit the pre-order, that is the left subtree. Then we visit the right subtree, right? So in short, what are we going to do? We will visit the root vertex first. Then we will visit the subtrees from left to the right, right? So this is what is it said. That first of all, visit the root vertex and then visit the subtrees from left to the right direction, right? So let's see one example where we will have to write the pre-order traversal for this particular tree, right? So always remember whenever we are dealing with a pre-order traversal, that means we have to travel root, left and then right, right? So for every subtree, you have to first of all identify who is the root vertex, who is the left vertex and who is the right vertex. Only then we will be able to write the tree traversal, right? So first of all, in this entire tree, who is the root vertex? A is the root vertex. So first of all, let's write down A, right? Now, after the root vertex is traversed, we will go on to the left part. So this is your left subtree, right? In this left subtree, again, this is a subtree. So we have to follow this direction 
root then left and then right so who is the root vertex b is your root vertex then who is the left vertex b is the left vertex and e is the right vertex right so you are done with this portion now we are left with this subtree right now in this subtree again follow the same direction who is the root vertex c is the root vertex f is the left part and g is the right part so this becomes your tree traversal the pre ordered traversal for this particular tree right so every time whenever you are writing a pre ordered traversal after the root vertex check out who is your left subtree and in that left subtree identify who is the root vertex who is the left vertex and who is the right vertex so every time whenever we are going to write the pre ordered traversal we need to follow the direction root left and then right right okay let us do some more examples and it will become very clear that how do we write the pre ordered traversal so the second example is we have to write the pre ordered traversal for this tree right okay so you can see this is a complex system so let us do it step by step so the first step we have to travel the path i'll just write it over here so it is root then we have left and then we have to go right right so this is the channel that we need to follow so let us follow so who is the root vertex now first of all a is the root vertex right now from the root vertex we have to go in the left direction so you can see this entire chunk is your left subtree right now in this left subtree there are many subtrees inside this so the first subtree that is coming is this portion p e and f so who is your root now uh, we have to follow the same sequence right so who is your root b b is the root then we go to the left part left part is this e but again you can see that there is a subtree that is originating at e right so if the subtree is originating at e so this is your e subtree so here again what is your root vertex e is your root vertex j is your left vertex and when we move to the right side then you can see that again at k you can find a subtree right so this is again a subtree so in this subtree again who is my root vertex k is my root vertex then we have to move from left to right so we go from n then o and then p right now come back come back to the previous subtree so we are done with this portion now we move on to the previous one so f was left the right part so we write here f then we go to the previous one when we started from a c was the next one that came in the sequence then we move on to the right part right in the right part again you can see that this is a subtree right in this subtree who is the root d is the root and then we have to go from left to right but when you move from left to right what do you find you can see that there is again a subtree at g right so this is again a subtree so in this subtree who is the root g is the root l is the left part m is the right part right so this is done so now we move on to the previous subtree so we have to go from left to right so when we move from left to right we have h and then we have i right i hope it is for clear so always whenever you are writing the pre order traversal start from the root vertex go to the left part see if there is any subtree in that subtree again check who is the root vertex who is the left vertex who is the right vertex right if there are many subtrees made that every root check for the subtree and write the same sequence that is root left and right right so it will get cleared from this diagram also so you can see that when we started a was the root and then this part was your left subtree and this part was your right subtree right so we started from a then in the next part p e was the root and then when we move on to the next step you can see that there is a subtree again at e with the root e right so with the root e what happens is that we get e then j then k then n then o then p 
so again we start from the root vertex so root vertex is e and then we have j so we get e and j in the picture then again there is a subtree at the vertex k so when we draw this and similarly you can see the right portion is also solved step by step so we had i'll just explain you in the next step so at k what happens we have k n o p so we get k as the root then we move from n then o and then t right then we go to the previous step we get the vertex f then at the previous step we get the vertex c and then when you branch out this you get a subtree at d so we get d and then the left part is g there is again a subtree at g so we get g then l and then m left right and then when you go on to the previous one we get h and i right so this is how we write the pre order traverse right so let's do one more example so that it becomes very clear to you so now let's move on to the next one so this is a tree given to us and we have to write the pre order traversal right so to start with we let's start from vertex 1 so whichever vertex we will cover we will mark it we will circle it out right so we have the root vertex so let me write down again for you that what is the method we will follow root then we will follow left and then we will follow right right for every subtree that is there so now we move on to one then from one we move on to the left subtree this is my left subtree now in this left drop subtree i can see there is a subtree made at two so two is my root vertex then i go to the left part that is three and when i go on to the right part again i can see that there is a root there is again a subtree made at vertex 4 right so in, if this is a subtree made with vertex 4 4 is the root and 5 becomes my left part there is no right right so now so we have covered 3 also we have covered 5 also. so you can see all the left part is done now let's move on to the right part when i move on to the right part this entire thing is a subtree but initially i can see that there is a subtree drawn at 6 So six is my root vertex, seven is my left vertex, and when I move on to the right portion, I can see that there is again a subtree drawn with vertex eight, right? So eight becomes my root vertex, nine is my left vertex, but when I move on to nine, I can see that there is again a subtree drawn at nine, right? So if nine is a subtree vertex drawn at nine. So nine is the root vertex. There is no left vertex. So ten we will get traveled, right? Once ten is traveled, now the only vertex that is left is eleven. So we move on to. So this is how we get the pre-order numbers, right? Okay. Next, let's. draw another one so i'm doing this example so that it becomes very clear to you so now let's draw this let's write the tree traversal so we start from f let me write it over here from f we move on to the left part so on the left part you can see this tree vertex root is at a so again root will travel first then we have the left subtree that is e and then when we move on to the right you can see there is again a tree made at vertex k so k is my root vertex and c is my left vertex right so you can see all the vertices on the left has been covered up now let's move on to the right side so on the right side this is the first tree that i come across so d is my root vertex h is the left vertex and then when i move on further to the right i can see there is again a tree formed here so g is the root of this tree so g becomes the root and b becomes the left right so all the vertices have been covered and this becomes my pre order traverse right i hope the questions are clear to you so let's move on to another example so you have to find out the 
pre-ordered reversal for the street. So here, let's start from vertex A. So when we start from vertex A, you can see there is a tree formed over here. So the first tree is BDE. So B is the root vertex. And when I move to the left, again, you can see there is a tree formed here. So D is the root vertex, right? D is the root vertex. H is the left part. I is the right part. H is also covered. I is also covered. We move back. So root was covered already. So now we cover E. So we have E here. And now when we move on to the right part, initially I can see there is a tree with the, with the root vertex as C. So C is the root that is to be traveled first. Then we move on to F. When we move to F, there is a tree formed here. So F is the root. J is the left subtree, left part. K is the right vertex, right? Then we move to here, G. So there is a tree here again. So G is the root. There is no left part. There is a right part that is L, right? And when I move to L, there is again a tree here. L is the root which is traveled. There is no left part and there is a right part that is M, right? So this becomes your pre-order reverse. Right? I hope it is clear. If it is not clear, do let me know in the comment section. Right? Okay. And then. I'll give you these exercises to do. So you need to determine the pre-order traversal for the street. So, and the next one is, answer is given, so you can try it. And the next one is, determine the pre-ordered reversal for this tree. So, I haven't given the answer here. So, do give me in the comment section that what is the pre-ordered reversal for this tree. Right? Okay. So, thank you so much. I hope you have understood the topic. Right? So, tomorrow we will see how to calculate the in-ordered reversal and the post-ordered reversal. So those of you who haven't subscribed my channel yet, they can subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, do hit the like button and believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.